I'm Mike Wiseman. I'm Ben Weissman. And uh, today we're going to have a quick conversation. Um, we're going to discuss a lot of what's going on right now with AI as it relates to lead generation. We get a lot of questions from a lot of people, uh, real estate agents, really wanting to know if AI technology can actually generate leads that leads to closing. Yeah, I think a lot of questions come from, I see all these ads and people talking about you know, AI powered businesses, new generation. Mm -hmm. And I think agents right now aren't really, it's not so clear exactly how AI is generating leads, but everyone's saying that they are, and no one's really giving the full picture. So I kind of dive into this, talk a little bit about where that's coming from. And maybe talk about what we're doing with AI that, that is resulting in leads. Right. I think one thing that's important to kind of look at is to understand that, the the essentially the pathway that a new buyer a new seller lead will reach a real estate agent or a real estate team or a brokerage that fundamentally is not going to change it's going to come through a text it's going to come through an email it's going to come from getting found online on social media on youtube on google but what's happening is ai is really allowing us to kind of supercharge the ability to get found um, it supercharges the ability to actually uh, make those platforms even more effective and then, you know, take part in some of the nurturing and a lot of the content creation that would go into the agent side of things mm -hmm. in order to, uh, to have the leads drive into that platform. Does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it's a, I think that's really what the focus on is, is I mean, again, AI isn't going to hit a button and more leads come in. Right. That's not what AI is, at least at the moment, right? Mm -hmm. What AI, I think, right now is, like you said, is it's, it's how do we use it to kind of supercharge what we're already doing, mm -hmm. how we incorporate it in what's already existing in mm -hmm. our lead flow. And, you know, when, when that lead hits our, our system, what happens to it, right? And right. as well, I think many people are now taking kind of AI to help them create the ads for ideas and thoughts as mm -hmm. well as creating content for our websites and for Google, for our Facebook and social media platforms that helps us stand out, right? And get jobs done much in a much quicker, much more efficient way. Right. Okay. So let's, let's look at one for the purpose of this video for, for a couple of minutes here. Let's look at one kind of use case that you're seeing where normally it would have been a much longer or complicated mm -hmm. process to generate a piece of content specifically designed to generate an inbound buyer or seller lead? Yeah, I, th I think my favorite way um, is, is, is a simple blog post, okay. right? That's geared towards um, Google search engine, right? And, and many people kind of overlook blog posts as, as a lead source. Uh, I think most because it's a long-term play and takes time and effort to complete. Whereas a lot, a lot of people nowadays want quick results. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing that we're successful with, and I see a huge increase in our organic lead flow since we incorporate AI in doing this, is using AI to push out high quality content much quicker. Um, and we do it by essentially taking information or content from our agents in certain towns and areas. They fill out a questionnaire in a form. That mm -hmm. form runs through an AI generated by chat GPT four, and that gets converted into a, a draft blog post, which then gets sent off to our, to our VA marketing team, who then looks it over, puts in links, puts in photos, gets it onto our website and structures it properly. Again, using AI to, along the way to, to shorten this process. I think just in that process alone, it went from being almost between five and six hours of work to about 45 minutes or less in some cases mm -hmm. to get a piece of content from an agent onto our website. Right. Now, this is a piece of content that's specifically designed to generate inbound leads, right? It's answering a specific question or uh, creating a specific you know, interest in a particular property or category of property. Um, and we're essentially going, taking that content and putting it now in front of the right people and AI is really driving that entire process. And we're taking it down from a five or six hours to, to four to five minutes. So, I mean, what is that in? I mean, that's, I mean, literally like a, we're talking like 300 
you know, if it's a five hour process, that's about 300 mm -hmm. minutes. And when I were doing it in, we're talking less than 45 minutes. So a seven X return on an agent's time. So now they can create one, two, three pieces of content over the course of a week, or maybe they wouldn't have done that, you know, over the course of months or a quarter even. Right. And so um, that's why we're seeing such a huge uh, return uh, and benefit and the results are there. We're definitely, the phone is definitely ringing for all the agents that we work with, uh, both on our team and around the country. Yeah. And I, I think that it's a, it also removes a huge barrier of, of, of knowledge to, because usually to, to learn how to structure a blog and to edit it, to fix it up properly, you know, not everyone's an editor, not everyone can, can knows what structure um, Google needs to read, which is why I think chat GPT or AI in general can completely remove that barrier you have. You just give it whatever you want to, and you say, hey, hey, AI, take this content, which is just a bunch of random information, turn it into a fully optimized structured blog post, optimized for SEO, mm -hmm. all right? And then you can even ask it, how can I further optimize this? It'll tell you, add photos here, add links here, right? right? Put it here, post it here. It'll tell you exactly what to do, which normally you have to hire a professional to do it for you. Right. I think it also it, it allows agents or makes it much easier for agents who, who have wanted the past to make that kind of content. It allows them now to come into that much easier. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's not taking the agent out of the picture, but it is it, it's 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 exponentially increasing uh, the agent's um, use of time, use of efficiency um, to be consistent because consistency long term is almost always going to be get you the best results. But this is like a lot of the good technologies that we've used over the years, whether it's, a, you know, in the past, it's been a multi-line dialer, you know, for calling expires because it compresses time. It simply gets you in touch with more people more quickly, creating content like this, but then using these tools to optimize them. And, and knowing how to do that, by the way, is not simply a matter of telling the AI, just make me, you know, a good blog post. It's also, you know, you, Ben, know the prompts that need to be, need to be, um, created and the actual prompts that need to be given to the AI system. So it actually creates what you want to be, cre you know, to deliver. Yeah, correct. Yeah, there is a little bit of an art form to, to the to structuring, called engineering, they call it, you know, a little fancy, called engineering a prompt. Um, and, and in some of my prompts, I've spent just hours testing back and forth and getting different results based off of the prompt. Um, so there is some kind of problem there. I've seen people not even selling, like advertising, buy like a package of a thousand prompts, like mm. premium prompts. Mm. That I find I find a really cool like niche. People are, are figuring out a way to use. Mm. Right? I think now I even see like I saw things like yes, like a hundred prompts for real estate agents. Right? Mm. I'm not sure what's in them. My guess is it's just right. It, it's, it's just ways to kind of program the AI to produce a certain result. Right, a prompt is essentially, a, a pro, yeah. Prompt is a bit of is a bit of code, so to speak. The the AI turns the prompt into into uh, into code, into, into essentially a process. So um, when you combine like the knowledge that say Ben has with the the front end knowledge that let's say I have and our team has, you get something that's really an unbeatable process where you know it, it actually converts to more closed sales, and we're seeing it now, you know, throughout the country. Um, and every market we're operating in, uh, more closed sales, faster closed sales, faster times from um, first call to closing. And um, it's pretty exciting stuff going forward using the AI in this way. Yeah. And I, I think, like you said, I think the word for today is a supercharge, right? It's, mm -hmm. AI is not going to replace any real estate agent's job, right? It's not going to replace, but, but, it, but it can supercharge what you're doing. It, it can kind of propel you to kind of the future. And I think right now it's even more powerful to use to tap into because I think the whole real estate industry now is, is, has a little shift of how we market, how we advertise and how we generate leads. I think it's going much more towards that, that, that opt-in leads and kind of organic leads coming forward, especially with Google's massive push to become that kind of number one um, lead source for service-based industries. And they are working really hard at doing that. And I think, using the AI can really help agents transition from, I would say like the, the older way, you know, the cold, cold prospecting with kind of going out, going out of style a little bit and use AI to propel themselves and supercharge themselves into kind of this future flow of where we're going, where, which is just really content. 
right? It's just creating, I mean, look at, look at, I mean, YouTube content, it, social media platforms, right, can all generate leads, but the key to all those platforms is what content are you producing? Right. So we can use AI to produce that content. Then if you use that content the right way, then that can in turn produce leads. So I think when, when people say, you know, an AI real estate lead generation, AI lead gen, it's it's really more than we're talking about using AI to to supercharge our what we're already doing and then gearing that content, You're basically creating content mm. for these platforms. And then giving that content to the platforms and then driving the leads with that content that, that kind of came from AI. Right. Yeah. So it's AI, you know, lead generation using AI. Yeah. I think that's where, where really, you know, people, people mean it when they awesome. say lead AI. Yeah. Sounds great. So cool. Look, I think we're going to wrap up this little segment here. Um, the next segment, let's dive into a little more on, you know, when that lead comes in, what AI can do to pick up that slack. I mean, I'll be the next piece of, uh, next conversation we have. So until next time, uh, Mike Wiseman, happy to uh, have everybody here uh, taking part in our conversation on AI. And yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe, like, and share this video if it was helpful to you. Absolutely. All right. Till next time. Take care.